Yeah, and investigators left just a little bit ago taking part of that damage display with them. But this is what we're talking about. This line of rainbow doors that said God's doors are open to all. Now, even with the damage, the church says their message of inclusivity still stands. Our job is uh, to provide love and hope. The display out front of United Christian Church in Renton sends a message of inclusivity. They say God's doors are open to all and they're a rainbow, so each door is a different color. A message that's drawn vandalism several times during Pride Month. When a church says they include all, why would you do something like that? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. The church says since June 8th, they've been knocked down twice, one was burned earlier this week, and overnight, two more had holes blown in them. It's deeply disturbing because this has been going on all week. Bailey LaRonde works nearby. This morning, she discovered the damage and this. It was a red firework, it looked like, on the back of the door. Along with a Bible verse from Leviticus, which is often used to condemn gay people. I support equal, li equal rights for all people, and I think that everybody deserves to feel welcome here in this community and I support the church in their message and I feel like even though it's damaged it can always be repaired. Evidently they're looking for a hate crime right now. Uh, why somebody would do that I have no idea. It's, it's just it's, it's insane. It doesn't really get a message across. In my mind it's a clear hate crime. The FBI has not yet called it that but is investigating along with the ATF. As a church, uh, we have chosen to be loud and proud about our inclusivity of all people. All people are welcome in our congregation. But church leaders say they are not afraid. At the core of my being personally and who we are as a church is we believe in love and kindness. Um, and so displays like this that are not necessarily love and kindness um, are disappointing. But I, I wouldn't say we're angry or frustrated, um, more so sad. Which is why even though the damaged doors have been removed, the church says their message of equality still stands. We will not waver in our commitment to the LGBTQ community, and we will not waver in our commitment to being inclusive and loving. And the good news is no one has been hurt, and police say nobody is in danger right now. As for whether the church will rebuild this, they have not made that decision yet. Live in Renton, Michael Crow, King 5 News.